Coach was just telling us that like he was very proud of you guys for the way that you guys responded and bounced back. And you could have fractured, you could have given up on the season. Just uh, as one of the leaders of the team, did you feel that kind of the last couple yeah. weeks that you guys became stronger because of maybe what you'd gone through? Yeah, I definitely think everyone bought in to what we were trying to do, and I think the young guys on the team really stepped up and uh, they wanted to send the seniors off the right way. And they mentioned that a lot this whole week, so it was really cool to see those guys step up. And play. Coach Kelly talked a lot just now about how confident he is in the direction of pro in the direction of the program. Where do you think this team is headed uh, moving forward? Yeah, I think it's it, it's only going to go up from here, really. Um, especially fin finishing the season off well, uh, then whatever bowl game you're playing in, finishing that off well, and then just moving on from there. I think. Uh, Coach Kelly and the staff, I think they're in a great position, man, especially with the players, some of the players that they have coming back. I think it will be a great season next year for them. What did y'all do effectively, you think, to kind of stop the design quarterback run, which had given y'all issues early yeah. in the season? Uh, I just think we executed better than what we did in previous games, honestly. Um, and guys were just flying around having fun, trusting the guy next to him. So it was really cool. Coach Kelly said there has been a lot of noise and you know grumbling. How did you guys balance that out of? He yeah. said, look, we're not happy with four losses, but yeah. we got we got the job done these last two games. Yeah, I mean, we, we try not to listen to the outside noise, but obviously it, it comes in the locker room at times. And I think, uh, especially in that meeting that we had, we said the only people that matter are the guys in this room. So we just went out there and played like that. The ball participation has been really good mm -hmm. with Coach Kelly. You expect that to continue? You think a lot of people are going to play? Or? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think everyone has to make the decision based on where they are. I mean, everyone's different. Every guy's different. Uh, but, I mean, it, it has been really good in previous years, so I would expect it to be the same. What have you been playing for? you got that extra padding around here. Oh, yeah. I've been, uh, I broke my ribs uh, old Miss. I've been playing through that the whole year. How many ribs? Uh, my 12th rib. I broke it. Yeah. Just the one rib? Yeah, still, one. still a perfect. Mm -hmm. So you'll play in the bowl? I'm not for sure. I had to sit down and talk to my family. Okay. Yeah. See Garrett go out in the way, came back and fought. What did you see from Oh, yeah. Uh, Nuss is a tough guy, uh, a guy who's about his teammates. So when he went down, I had a feeling that he was going to make sure he came back in and try to finish the game strong. He talked a lot, I mean, Coach Kelly just talked a lot about the freshmen that played for y'all on defense tonight, whether it's McKinley or mm -hmm. Devon Keys next to you guys at linebacker. Yeah. Just can you speak on maybe some of the growth you've seen from the, the freshman defense? Yeah, those two here? guys in particular have really taken tremendous st strides, I think. Uh, Dom, I think, was a guy who was banged up early. Uh, I think he's starting to really get healthy and come into his own. Uh, Devon's a really smart player. I think he's doing a good job. And really, all the young guys, man, P.J. Woodland, uh, Spears. I think all those guys have great years. What do you see out of Aaron Anderson if you go from what he produced last year to what he produced this year? Uh, just, I mean, I can't. He's always been a great player, and pretty in practice, he makes great plays. So at some point, I kind of knew it would come to the game and it would happen. So it doesn't really surprise me the stuff he's doing. He's a really explosive guy. Yeah, and Chris Hilton, kind of the same, you know. Yeah, same thing. He makes crazy plays like that in practice. So at some point, it'll, it'll turn into plays on Saturday. Uh, what's, what's the ceiling for Wick Weeks? You play now for two I years. think the ceiling is as high as he wants it to go. Uh, I think the linebacker room in particular uh, is in really great hands for years to come. So I, mean, I think the ceiling for him is what he wants it to be. I think he's going to be a great player. Uh, hopefully next year he he going to take the steps and uh, lead the defense. How do you feel when you walked off that field for the last time? Uh, bittersweet. Ready to take the next step, but at the same time, man, it was crazy. I looked up in the fourth quarter and it was three minutes left. I'm like, wow, we got three minutes left in Death Valley. So, man, it, it flew by, man. It was like this. So, it's really crazy. What did you know about LSU football up north there and then coming down here and, and what impact did it have on you? Uh, I knew a lot about it, really. I always watched the SEC games growing up. So, just the defensive games, the defensive players that come out of there, that, that was what stuck out. Uh, Greg's got time for two more. If y'all got them.